that stadium, though, when you walk into it, you just kind of think to yourself, there's just another football stadium, and you get ready to line up and play the game that you've played for years. So, But, I mean, it's, it is definitely something that you think about a lot, is just what kind of stadiums you, you're going to play in. Were you a Chiefs fan growing up? I really didn't watch that much NFL football. Um, I've always been a college football fan. I, I've always loved sitting at home. My favorite TV show in the fall definitely is College Game Day. I, yeah. I just, you know, you, you get lost in that kind of atmosphere, and so it's it's a cool thing to be able to like be a part of that atmosphere now. What do you think of the way Keith and when he's had his chances? He's he's kind of a player. He's he's so explosive and just the way his character is too. Like he's just he's he's extremely excited. Like uh, I know uh, I saw it against I think it was UMass and he, and then this past weekend like he he's so close to almost breaking a long run and he gets tackled and he jumps up in the air and gives a fist bump. You know he's just he's a very animated player and so um, I think he's that kind of player. He's he's extremely dangerous. I think if you get him one on one situations to where he can he can make guys miss. And so he's he's uh, he's kind of I think he can be a very explosive player and when he gets in there I think he does a good job with what he he does the right things he gets the ball and he takes it downhill and so yeah, I think he's I, so far I think he's done a really good job. Like, he's the opportunity to get there, he's so. staying pretty positive despite knowing you know, he's behind Daniel by the one guy here. There's no way he's gonna go fast right now. He, that's that's exactly the way he is. The way you see him, that's how you that's how he is. Like in the locker room, out of practice, everything. He's so positive. When he gets in the huddle, he's extremely he's extremely uh, he's very confident. He's very relaxed, and he's just he's just ready to he's just ready to play football. I think he's just he's very happy to be here, and I mean we're all happy to play with him. He's he's a lot of fun to have around. Uh, in your time, have you played any special teams for Coach Snyder? What's that? Have you played any, have you spent any time in special teams? Uh, the PAT team. Yeah. Does Coach put a ton of emphasis on that? I mean, I know he does, but how much does he? I guess. That's one of the first things he talks about in every meeting is the kicking game. He's, he, yeah, like the one of the, the meeting leading into a game, he'll talk about the other team's kick or the other team's units that are strong for him, whether it's a kickoff, kick return, something like that. I mean, that's, that's one of the first things that he talks about. So, I mean, he... He puts a big emphasis on it. I mean, he, it's like he says, you know, it's one third of the game. It would be it'd be foolish not to talk about it or put a lot of emphasis on it. I mean, you can you can win and you can win in offense and lose on special teams and still lose the game. I mean, if, <clears throat> special teams can make a huge difference in the game. And I mean, I think I mean I know it's it made it's made a lot of a lot of impact on. A lot of teams throughout the years. I mean, here with uh, Martin Gramatica and even with David Allen whenever he returned and things like that. I mean, I think I think he's shown through the years that he puts big emphasis on special teams. Do you guys take any extra pride in that area just because you know all that tradition? I think uh, <clears throat> I, I'm not in a lot of other meetings as far as like the kickoff kick return, but I know in the PAT, uh, Coach Dickey coaches that. And one thing I like that he kind of talked about a little bit was he said you can you can kind of read a team's toughness based on their PAT team, just their ability to, to dig down in the ground. Because I mean, on the offensive line, we take or uh, on the protection unit, we take like you know one step, and you just get you got to mash a whole, you got to stop a whole lot of guys. Like they'll line two or three guys on you, and it's just it's kind of your ability to just dig down and just sit right there and be able to hold a guy off. And I think he's I think he's very right on that. That it's uh, it, you can see a team's toughness based on that and like their pride and just take a lot of pride in that unit. So. <laughs> Wait, you guys have shown a strong commitment to the running game this year. Is that something as an offensive lineman that's sort of your dream is to just punish the ball down their throat, smash around the football? Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, that's one thing uh, I think. I can't remember. Uh, someone asked me that one time too, and like I've, I've always kind of liked that aspect of the offensive line is just the ability to kind of maul a guy, you know, just come off the line and really just try to pop someone. And so um, I, I'm very, I, you know, last uh, Saturday was a lot of fun just being able to run the ball. That much. I mean, not even talking about the success that we had in it. Just the just the idea that the coach has enough confidence that he wants to see us come downhill with someone. And Coach Dickey on the sideline he talked to us a lot about that. Was like, you know, guys, next time we hit that field, we just got to come down at them, just go attack someone. And so uh, I think I think we we as an offensive line, we've gotten very comfortable with that.